Hi, it's Julie Lawton of Julie Lawton Design Build. We're here at Tony Baxter's house and we're just finishing the rear yard. Fantastic remodel of the scene from Mary Poppins. So this house again was designed 30 years ago by Tony Baxter. We did some room additions last year, but the latest project is the backyard Mary Poppins theme. So now we're in the backyard of Tony Baxter's house and the room additions are done and there's one here above me which we'll show more later but they're on previous videos and the other room additions on that end of the house but the main thing was the backyard was completed. So now we have 10 lamp posts and some up lighting and some moonlight hidden in the trees so the whole combination and the whole effect is that it's a moonlit theme in the evening. The only thing we're missing is the drifting fog from England. Okay, so now we're at the gazebo. So I basically restored the gazebo, freshened up the paint, and you know did the new lighting inside, which is basically new light bulbs. And the type of light bulbs is crucial. So the wattage and the dimmability of them was the main thing with the existing lights. And then we come down here, and we did place all new stones and redid the uh, antique sundial with the new antique pedestal and all again all the stones are placed custom the pavers were done custom the fountain is new this is all assembled by us it's all plumbed and electrified and it has an overflow system so at a push of a button it can come on and off but it is on a timer so everything's automated through a vantage system in the garage so you don't have to think and everything can be done from your phone so everything's 100 percent automated including the hidden lights in the trees which are on four trees behind me and then of course the street lamps are all dimmable as well so the only thing we don't have on the street lamps is a little spot you can spin on like in the movie we're at the back of the house where one of the room additions was done this is the other room addition which is a second home theater right here so this room was pushed out five feet over the balcony and again my job as the designer for Tony Baxter the designer was to take all of his dreams wishes and sketches and make them reality so then I would take the, his drawings and then make them into structurally accurate drawings so we could build it. And then of course we finished it, stained it, and made it look 200 years old like it's been here forever. So we copied everything that was done 30 years ago. It looks the same like this has always been here. And that was the magic because as you can see the house looks historical and it's actually fairly new. And that was our biggest challenge but yet the funnest part of the job. Okay, we're back inside Tony Baxter's home, and this is where the project started in the inside of the home, talking about improving of the theater and some other items, but what I'm gonna do is show you how the project started, because as you know, all projects start with a dream, and my motto being it all starts with a good plan, but in this case, Tony Baxter built a model for us, so I'm gonna show you what the model looks like. So Tony built the scaled model of his home when he built it and then he added on to it when we added on the rooms. So up here on the left is the room we added on which is the guest bedroom and the second home theater. And over here is the other room we added on which is his office which used to be the master closet with the fabulous tort which has the dragon on the top of it, Figment. So this whole model was built by Tony to help us visualize, help him visualize and it's probably the coolest thing ever and the lid comes off the model so you can actually see what's going on on the inside of the house. So all the rooms are laid out so it makes it super cool in 3D especially for people that can't visualize but in our case Tony and I visualize very well but it just helps. So we started with this so the model is done and now I'm going to show you what the rooms actually look like. Okay so now we're upstairs in the room we added at the back of the house which is considered the guest room and the second home theater. If you look up you'll see a theater projector over here and the movie screen is hidden in a beam here and it's all about this room addition matching what was here before. So everything's new at this end of the room. All the carpet, all the finish, all the woodwork, all the cabinets, all the stained glass, everything. And we even customized a bed to make the room look completely finished from an antique piece of furniture that Tony already had. So it's a complete remodel in a beautiful quintessential vintage way. Now we're in the other room we added on to and this room used to be this big so it was just this little closet and so Tony needed more room for his office so we added all this on which went over his old balcony and so the big thing about this room is this beautiful turret with the cupola on top and the dragon but just this woodwork and the, all the woodworking details is my favorite part of this room and of course more stained glass and just a little stonework that matches the stone in the kitchen and other areas of the house but again all new flooring all new woodwork 
completely embellished with 100% vintage to match what was done before and maintain that wonderful style that Tony had originally. Thanks for joining us at Tony Baxter's house where we made his dreams come true and I'll see you on the next video.